Hello my friends, and welcome back to another tutorial video for Como Revy, the Tiling Window Manager for Windows. In this tutorial video, I am going to walk you through one of the new features, one of the features that I am most excited for in version 0.1.19 of Como Revy. Uh, this feature, actually, there's not too much demonstrating to do. We're just going to be looking at, <laughs> at the configuration file. So, this is more or less the default configuration file. And I, I highly, highly recommend that you watch the video that shows you how to set up um, auto-completions so that when you open uh, double quotes, you get all of the possible valid options. Um, so let's say we want to set a float rule. Uh, you open up an object, which is a float rule object. And until this new release, previously there were only two uh, properties that you could set on a float rule. You could set an ID and you could set a kind. And, you know, you would match against a title, an executable, or a class. Let's take title, for example. Um, and, I don't know, like, if you wanted to float all of the team's windows, you would do something like this, right? Um, the problem that arose was that people increasingly wanted to block pop-ups or toast notification windows that were coming from these applications and it was really difficult to target them because either the class was not always the same or the title was always a little bit different uh, especially if you can imagine notifications where uh, I, I don't know, like somebody's messaging you or somebody is um, inviting you to a meeting, something like that. The title is always going to change. It's kind of dynamic, right? But it has, it has a structure um, that you could possibly target if you had a more powerful matching strategy. So up until now, what Como Rebi would do is... Uh, let's take this example of the title. Um, it would look at the title of the window, and the chain of logic would be something like, does the title of this window start with Teams? Yes or no? And if it's no, then it would check, hmm, does it end with Teams? And if it was still no, it would, um, it would do a contains check. Does the title of this window contain teams as a substring? Um, and you know what? To be honest, that strategy got us pretty far. It got us all the way to uh, 40,000 users. But now it's, it's time for something a little more uh, mature, reliable, and, uh, and specific, right? So in version 0.1, Point nineteen of Komorebi, we have added the matching strategy property. So let's take a look what is here. We have the contain strategy, which does a substring contains check. So does title contain themes? Um, it has an ends with strategy. Does this title for this window end with teams? It has an equality strategy. Does the title of this window equal teams? It has the legacy strategy, which I just spoke about. Um, it has the starts with strategy. Does the, the, does the title of this window start with teams? Uh, but now also it has the regex strategy. All right, and with this you could do something like um, I I don't know. Let's say I'm making this up as I go along. This is not an actual ID that I know of. So let's say the title is Teams notification message from user. All right. Let's say that this is the title 
Um, and let's just make it a bit more complex. Sent X minutes ago, right? So we can, ooh, what was that? Uh, we can make up a regex that will help us to um, target specifically these windows so they don't get managed and screw everything up for us. <laughs> so uh, why don't we go to Rust Regex Tester? It must be Rust Exp. Cool. Um, and let's try and build a regex. So we can say we want the regex to start with this then have any number of something then have sent space sent should add the spaces in um then any number of minutes ago uh actually i guess this one can be a digit um decimal digit at least one my my reg x foo is not great i gotta say um minutes ago well that didn't work did it uh zero or more capture one or more all right then this actually needs to be let me make this a little bigger for you guys so three minutes ago from um all right so now we can just kind of we can craft this and make this work uh so and with all right that i mean you can make a better more precise regex for that i'm just using uh any number of anything to um to replace the user and the minutes but okay we have our regex it works so why don't we head back over to our configuration, paste that in, and now anytime you get one of these dynamic notifications, it's always going to be matched. Um, and the way that this is implemented, I think, is, is quite smart. So whenever the, the rules are loaded um, with the configuration or whenever the configuration is reloaded and there are new rules, it compiles the regex once, it keeps it in a hash map that makes it really quick and easy to look up, and then it can just do the uh, it can do the test, right? So you don't have to construct the regex every single time. It's uh, a nice little thing that makes uh, Como Rebi nice and fast, just the way we like it. Uh, yeah, so that is that's pretty much the rule, right? And um, I know recently Discord has been having some trouble, so one of the rules that I have added is this one, right? Um, ends with, and you know, whenever Discord is pushing changes that break the app, break the tiling of the app, um, I found that this has been incredibly reliable now because I don't have to, um, well actually this would be a, a manage rule. But you know, it's all the same. All of the different things that take rules, you can apply any of these strategies to. Um, so I highly, highly recommend um, playing around with this. We will um, gradually start introducing these rules into the application specific uh, configuration repository. So right now you can see, um, you know, it's all um, ID and kind, ID and kind, but we can gradually start adding uh, matching strategies to all of these. So for example, EXE matches, it makes a lot of sense for these to have the equals matching strategy. Um, there are some with title or some with class actually um, that are a little tricky. And you know, we're gonna go through those and we're just gonna keep iterating on this, improving it, making it better for everybody to use. Um, I think, I think that is everything I wanted to cover in this video. So before I go, as always, I would like to give a huge, 
huge thank you to all of the lovely, lovely sponsors whose support makes the continuation of this project possible. Thank you to this private sponsor, Michael, Ace Linkio, Timothy, Leandro, Maxwell, Gustavo, Solomon, Alex, Evan, Julian, and Hisayuki. My friends, you are all amazing. I appreciate you all so, so much. If you too would like to become a sponsor, head on over to the repo and you can hit the sponsor button. It will bring you here. You can become a one-time sponsor. You can become a monthly sponsor. Really, your sponsorship is appreciated so, so much. I can't even, I can't even begin to thank you all. It's, uh, I never would have thought when I first started programming that people would sponsor me for a piece of open source software that has been downloaded 40,000 times. It's, um, yeah, I, I get speechless when I think about it. If, however, you are not in a position to sponsor, the very next thing, the very next best thing that you can do is subscribe to the YouTube channel where you are probably watching this video right now. Uh, the reason I say that is because we are trying to get to 1000 subscribers on the channel. Uh, because when we do, we will be eligible to get a cut of the ad revenue. You may have noticed if you have been watching some of the other tutorial videos on my channel, if you've been watching some of the Komorebi live development videos on my channel, that there are ads playing now. But unfortunately, because I don't have a thousand followers yet, I'm not getting a cut of it. So if you do use the software, if you do love the software, this is a really, really nice passive way for you to support Komorebi and its continued development. Unfortunately, I do have some sad news to share with you all. Uh, I was impacted by wide ranging layoffs at my previous company very recently so I am uh, I'm currently jobless in the United States of America uh, and that's pretty scary so if you uh, if you know of positions that you think I'd be a good fit for please please do reach out um, really appreciate any help in, in finding uh, my next position in this scary industry um, and you know of course if you can sponsor this project um, it will really help me as well during this uh, uncertain time to at least still have a little bit uh, of income coming in i would appreciate that a great great deal well my friends that is all for this time i hope that whatever you will do today you have a great great day free palestine and i'll see you all back here next time.